see there further ahead the core of the group mostly still lying down <laughs> sure. Maybe that lion fight was quite traumatic for him. And he's now just making sure there's no lion in this vehicle, which I'm quite glad there isn't. And the look in his eyes, if I was a lion, I would never ever mess with that bull again. Very serious looking buffalo. I was just photographing. It's got a very wise look in her eyes. Now again, <coughs> people tend to just in the beginning just see a buffalo and they all look the same. But then once you start looking at them, you'll notice differences. First you'll start with noticing horn differences, bull and cow for instance, but also different bulls, different cows. And then you start seeing different facial expressions almost. Like I said, this cow is maybe not the prettiest buffalo I've ever seen, but she's got a certain endearing look to her. She looks like she's seen a lot of things understands a lot of things and like um, and in her case maybe more wisdom than the average old buffalo there's something about it that I like beautiful face big ears even though she's quite old she still looks healthy Nose up, another bull lying down in the background there, quite a big guy. Nine, I think. If you count all the horn tips, maybe eight or seven. Might have counted one buffalo's horns twice. Oh, there's a beautiful car. Liking the different Alex is just looking for different, different individual buffalo. Look at this one. Beautiful, beautiful face. Even <coughs> not the biggest horns, but cars don't really need that big horns. They mainly just for protection. You can see her horns in very good condition. Nice and sharp tips. She's in very good shape as well. Look at that. Not a blemish on the skin. Perfect coat. Very healthy looking. She's probably in her prime probably say sort of maybe 12 I'm trying to remember now Alex you can help me think or Jan even can't remember when last we saw that view of a buffalo can't remember when last we saw a big herd like this buffalo typically drink once a day twice even if it's possible sometimes so the need for resources is, is quite high there's a nice big male. Now you can see those deep dips. Especially with the bulls as well. The horns tend to dip very deep. <coughs> now what we've seen already in, the, in this area at Juma with the different herds we see is that there's quite a genetic difference as well. And there's normally, almost you can pick up a genetic thread through the different herds. I know there's one herd that we get sometimes. There's some bulls with incredibly wide horns. I mean, probably 40, 30 percent wider than this this guy's horns. And then some of the other herds, you get the horns dipping deeper. This guy's horns are quite, quite deep. You can see that bottom curve, almost behind the ears. 
a little one. Very young one, probably about three weeks old or so, two, three weeks. You can see the little horn buds just starting. Little knobs there. And you can see next to it as well that other youngster, look at those horns. It's about a year old or so, straight to horns. Look at it. Nice and solid already, nice and muscular. Yeah, I'd say probably two weeks, two and a half weeks. Even though those horns are already showing, I think it's just such a healthy youngster. But things are starting to happen quite quick. I'll sneak a little bit closer. I don't want to disturb these buffalo. Actually, we don't need a little one scratching there. There's one on the left here. Alex just sort of peeking at us through the bushes. Slowly just ruminating. You can see the mouth lazily opening and closing. aware of being watched. Nice relaxing with a buffalo, no, not going anywhere. There's no rush for us to leave. Just looking at this buffalo earlier actually. It's the same one. And uh, to an extent it's got the eyes closed but it also seems to actually have some kind of injury on them. Looks like they're a bit swollen. Maybe he got into a fight. Let's just see if it comes out again. But quite often you find this with young buffalo. Again, you can get a bit of variation within between individuals. Some of them are a bit darker, some lighter. But typically speaking, the young calves are a bit lighter than the adults. They're not that sort of black color yet. More like a beige brown. Look at this one. It's very light. Looks almost exactly like a bison calf. Just the reason why they're so light, you also find it with a lot of other antelope. You find it with uh, blue volibears, for instance, red heart to beast as well. First couple of weeks, quite often they'll still be hidden in the grass, and uh, it just makes them that little bit more difficult to see. at her and then the uh, sun has disappeared again. Morning, what are we going for? Good strong suggestion that a lot of the wallowing is behavior related, a dominance related. Same thing again, you don't see young buffalo males often wallowing. It's typically the big mature males only that, that you see in the water. So cooling and cleaning and all that certainly is a part of it, but there's definitely some kind of social relevance or behavioral relevance to wallowing as well. Long tail shrike is sometimes referred to as a magpie shrike as well. So the black and white colors. Certainly does have a long tail. Again male and female look virtually the same so probably find that there's some selection or genetic selection over time that caused the tails to be longer. Also does help them a little bit I guess with balance. They do climb around in the trees quite a lot. Look into that face, look into those eyes, look at the nose, quite beautiful. Now keep in mind again, hyenas and female, now at a quick glance, looking between her back legs there, you would think that maybe I've been mistaken calling her a female, but with uh, hyenas, Females actually have got a penis as well, so they look virtually the same as males, except they tend to be bigger. Now in this case, just from her size, 